Greetings and salutations, tube dwellers. Welcome back to Velasa's Journey to Greatness! I have accomplished a few things since you last saw. Uh, I've traveled from Rif Riften to High Hrothgar. Um, you can kind of see the path I took. You can see some of the areas I revealed along the way, just kind of toying around. Um, I've actually had a good bit of fun getting back to uh, the lowest level of Skyrim and having trouble fighting wolves all over again and spiders. Of course that means that I now have the second word of unrelenting force and uh, I've also got uh, whirlwind sprint very handy for travel. Um, I also leveled up a couple times uh, just fighting this that and the other. I'm now level 12 and I've begun to save perks um, so I'm gonna be really doggedly determined about getting right up the archery tree and uh, when I get my archery to level 60 there are actually four different perks that open up all at the same time um, the next level of my bow damage uh, the next level of my slow time for zooming the next level of my critical shot and uh, the ability to move faster with a drawn bow so hopefully uh, I'll have at least three I've got two in the cooker right now just waiting to be spent uh, hopefully by the time I get my archery to level 60, I'll have at least three to sink in some of those perks, and then I'll get the next one pretty shortly after. Um, now there is a sneak perk that I'd really like, of course it's this bow damage one. Um, however, I'm, I'm kind of holding off just because my sneak's not leveling up super fast. Uh, this only requires 40. Uh, I may go as far as to get this one before getting all four of those other perks. I suppose it just depends on how fast I level up. Uh, before when I built this character, I put a couple levels into this stealth that makes you harder to detect per perk that you put in it. Um, I think I've decided against doing that because I got to the point where I could literally stand in front of a Draugr once my sneak itself was high enough and I had some of these other perks. Um, I could stand in front of a Draugr and he wouldn't be able to see me while sneaking. Like in light while he's facing me, like dead in front of him he can't see me. Uh, so I, I think that additional perks into this are, are probably kind of wasted. Um, I don't need to be that sneaky even, so uh, I think I might be able to do everything I need to do with sneak with just one perk in that. Um, I've also decided something else about this character. I have not pursued it yet, but I'm going to become a companion with Velas. That way I can become a werewolf, and that way I can explore parts of the werewolf perk tree and uh, use lycanthropy a bit uh, while going through the Dawnguard quest line, and maybe even while going through the uh, Stormcloak quest line. Um, so I think this is a good idea, and I think it might remove my desire to use one-handed and, and shield perks, uh, just because it, it'll kind of be my melee, like Lycanthropy will kind of be my melee form. And uh, I do think the perk tree for Lycanthropy looks kind of interesting, interesting enough anyway. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to go as far as getting through the totem quests again, however that is quite a time investment into the companion's quest line. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how uh, how driven or dedicated I'm going to be to to doing all that stuff. I will definitely at least become a werewolf though. Um, however, that is going to have to wait because I'm anxious to do a playthrough episode with Mr. Valas. So how about we head on over to Windhelm. And uh, start ending the plight on Skyrim one problem at a time. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Spears have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened. They did summon me, and I've already been there. Now I'm here to eventually kill some dragons. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to get to that quest. As right now, I'm dedicating my time to Windhelm, the oldest city in Skyrim by some accounts. Uh, also obviously the most racist. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm driven to uh, specifically have this character join the Stormcloaks. Uh, Storyline wise, roleplay wise, it's not at all a good fit. Some friggin wood elf. They say the Palace of Kings was made by Isgrimor himself. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgroth a stronger message? 
If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. <laughs> Torig was merely a message to the other Yarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not, the people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. I'm not. Then let them die with their. Only the foolish people. or the courageous approach a yarl without some. Ah. Do I know you? You do know me, and I'm surprised that your memory is so uh so short-winded. I believe we've already met. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us and helped. Good job, Destined Ulfric. for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, yeah, I happen to be ready to be executed. I was set free, though. I could have gone anywhere. I came here to fight the Empire. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Speak with Galmon. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. Able Seems fighters. Seems like branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. Many I'm no thief, and I'm no mere person. soldier. Hello, Galamar. Helga, now. Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Yeah. yeah but first, tell me. Why is an elf want to fight for Skyrim? Boy, these, these guys just have a knack for understatement. So you only take Nords? Uh, let's see. Skyrim is home to more than just Nords. Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? Uh... Well, I want to fight the Empire. <laughs> I'll bleed for the chance. I don't know about dying. I don't know about this all talk of death. I can't fault anyone for that. As long as you hate the Empire as much as I do, that I can work with. That's why I'm here. I want to join. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. Bring it on! That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. Or wooden arrows with you steel to tips. Stone Island. If you survive, Serpent you Stone. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. What's at Serpent Stone Island? It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice raid. Oh, great. You kill an ice raid out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Uh, okay. Well, I'll be back to, uh, to show you Ice Wraith remains. We'll see about that, won't we? Here, take this. You'll need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. Oh, you're so helpful. Elixir of Resist Cold added. Well, that will Let certainly be very helpful. Start it. Joining the Storm Cloaks. So let's take this uh, other quest off. To prove myself worthy of becoming a Stormcloak, Galmar Stonefist has sent me to kill an Ice Wraith at Serpent Stone Island. Kill the Ice Wraith. Soldiers are long Easy out. enough. Let's see where Serpent Stone Island falls. Way out in the ocean. Let's see. Uh, that looks quite a bit closer to uh, Winterhold than it does Windhelm. So uh, let me go to the stables and take me a little carriage ride over to Winterhold. Now, Ice Wraiths are... Let's see here. Need a ride? Ice wraiths are these nasty little buggers that are yeah, completely immune to frost. And 25% uh, weak to fire. They're technically level 9 creatures. And uh, the main note about fighting them is that uh, they kind of have a small hitbox. It's not... It's really easy for a melee fighter because you, when you swing, you kind of hit everything in front of you. Um, Ice Wraiths, though, are not easy to hit with projectile spells uh, or with projectiles like arrows. 
So, uh, my archer before kind of had a lot of trouble with them. Um, it's also annoying that the frost damage that they do soaks your stamina really well. I'm thinking that's my island. Uh, but it looks like it's got... Uh-oh. I need to be careful there. I also need to be careful here. Uh-oh. Some terrain glitching. Let's, uh... Let's see what we got here. Woo! Not quite dead. Good deal. I made it down. It looks like there's some kind of path I probably could have taken. It wasn't even too far out of the way. And I'm not going to get myself fully healed. Uh, so ice wraiths. Let's uh, let's circumvent this and climb to the top. Clam mead. Ha ha! I think you can get some pearls out of those occasionally too. Okay, looks like I was wrong about that plateau as I have uh, passed that island now. I'm actually on one behind it. Boy, uh, Winterhold College looks grand from up here. It's crazy how it's on a platform that, uh, that actually, uh, has a little concave. It, uh, doesn't have near as much support as there is surface area on the top. So, uh, it's one of these other islands. There's a couple bears over there fighting some horkers. I'm a little low on steel arrows, too. I know I've got quite a few others. Um, but I'll have to be kind of careful because, like I said, uh, ice wraiths are incredibly easy to miss. And I would hate to run out of arrows out here. Um, I suppose I could probably, with this frost resistance potion, I could probably just go with this ice wraith with my, uh, my axe and my shield and get the job done. Uh, that might be a decent way to level up both blocking and, uh, one-handed as well. Even though I'm not totally sure that I want to perk into those, it is still good to level them up. A little bit of diversity in how I level my character up. Oh yeah, I forgot this. Uh, this island has the serpent standing stone on it as well, which I believe gives you a once-a-day power to poison. I think it's a fairly strong poison too, like 300 damage if I remember correctly. Might look that up real quick and drop the exact stats. Oh come on, don't deny me. Looks like there's going to be a certain face of this island that's going to provide your your ascent, your path to the top. Alright. Uh, I found it. It looks like it's the, uh, what is this, the north? I guess the northeast face of the island. You can't really see the island very well because of this this absolutely crazy cloud cover. Um, but you can see where my arrow is pointing. So like that way is just off into the, uh, the unknown distance beyond the borders of Skyrim. And I'm in sneak mode now because I would really like to get my sneak critical off on this ice wraith that would make the fight infinitely easier for me. There's a little snow fox. Show me please the ice wraith. And you know what? While I'm thinking of it, let's do a quick save because it's very possible that this could be a life ending fight. I don't remember if I had to do this for the Imperials. I don't think I did. I did something else. I went and cleared a bandit fort, I think, to join the Imperials. Ah! There's the objective and there is the Ice Wraith. He's already seen me. Let's see if I can back off. Ah, nope. Fandle is going to, uh, gonna sink a putt. And I have been seen, so there the Ice Wraith is. Now this slowdown is going to be incredibly useful for dealing with this Ice Wraith, and I am so glad I've already missed him twice. Out of three shots, I've already missed him twice. I'm so glad that uh, Fandle has taken the heat uh, metaphorically speaking, of course not literally speaking. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the axe out. There's no way I can. Uh, there's no way I can get this done with uh, with my bow. It's just too hard to hit him. The way they dance is insane. Anyway, not only a small hitbox, but it's a floating hitbox that circles. And uh, one hit from him, I think that was even a little bit of his AOE, uh, has has done a good bit of damage. 50% for 60 seconds. Hopefully this does not last more than 60 seconds, and Ice Wraith Bane he also gave me makes me uh, do 50 extra points of damage to the Ice Wraith. That will be handy. Oh god, let's not die. Please don't kill me. I even, uh, I even put that Frost Resistance Potion on, and he doesn't care. I suppose they do have an attack that does damage too, so I should probably try to block the attack. Right? Right? Yeah, that worked. Somewhat. Uh, when he does his little AOE, he does this, uh, it's the thing you saw him do very first. He, uh, he does this little spiral, and ice spikes come out of the ground. Just like that. That can't be blocked. That is a spell, and it just does area of effect damage. Ha ha! 
Feindel got the killing shot. I am A-OK -okay with that, because that means the Ice Wraith died. I get his teeth. I suppose that is the proof that I've completed my quest, my task. And uh, here's the Serpent Stone. I will go ahead and get close to it so I at least discover the point. However, I'm not going to be using the Serpent Stone because I don't really need extra damage. I need to level up faster. Okay, let's uh, let's go return to Galmar. Have a little chat. A legend. I do the cooking and cleaning exists. around the palace. The Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. Damn the Jarls. They demand the moot. And damn the moot. We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's woman on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason, then. The crown would legitimize your claim. <laughs> a crown doesn't make a king. No. Neither does it's shrugging not. off traditions. If it even exists. It exists. And it will be the symbol of the righteousness of our cause. Think about it. The jagged crown. <gasps> It heralds back to a time before Jarls and Moots. Back to the time when the king was a king because his enemies fell before him and his people rose because they loved him. Skyrim needs that king. You will be that king, Wolf. Wow. You must be. Galmar must have studied in uh, public speaking. When have I ever been false with you? Fine. I'll send the unblooded here with you. The unblooded? Fancy a crawl through a moldering dungeon to see if you can't stir up Garmar's jagged crown. I suppose you're talking to me? It will be there. You'll see. You're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. Come on, a nice wraith. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's a beast. I could have used Time command animal on it. Are you kidding me? Ready to take the oath. I don't know. You guys seem stupid and brutish. What else? Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, Ulfric? future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. So, uh, who decides the gender of Skyrim? Sure, let's do this oath. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us, a hero of the people, <laughs> a true son of Skyrim, a Stormcloak. All Stormcloaks are heroes Repeat of the people. After me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Jarl Stormcloak. Jarl Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. Jarl of Windhelm and possible true High King of Skyrim once the mood is complete and has chosen him. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. Can we speed this right along? Come on. The true sons oh, come on. Is that one really necessary? All hail him, whatever. Yes, yes, let's go. Now you're one of us. Which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Tag along. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. I'm not going to brazenly make myself obvious to Imperials, so don't expect me to wear your Stormcloak shenaniganery. So what's this mission? I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? Well... I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvindrun. Corvindrun? Old King Borgus is indeed buried there. We're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Draugr? Imperials? Your Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. Well, be quick about it, because you know I will be. Looks like uh, I've got some other bits of information that could probably help me. However, I am familiar with Corvangent. I've actually had the Jagged Crown in my hands in another alternate timeline. Alright, I have located Corvangent, and right ahead of me is the scouting party from the Stormcloaks that was sent here ahead of me. I, uh, I expect that Galmar will be, uh, will be along shortly, if he's not there already. 
However, in lieu of time, I think I'm going to chop this episode here. Uh, so we will pick back up, ready to go into Corvangend and retrieve the Jagged Crown. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more.